Right, welcome back. Finally got the stickers on Jesse's heater. Uh, we got Anthem. I'm sorry. Uh, fuck me. Uh, Prairie, Anthem, Dead Armadillo, Mountain Fork, Iron Monk, Marshall, Nothing Left, Twisted Spike, Another Dead Armadillo, Cabin Boys, Another Dead Armadillo, uh, Broken Arrow Brewing. That's all the Oklahoma uh, breweries. We do have a rough tail sign, so we don't have a rough tail sticker. Uh, Iron, you can't see this, but it's Iron Monk, Tups, Six, Six point, point, Sweet Action uh, by Six Point, Lazy Magnolia, Left Hand, Avery, and another Anthem down here. So She finally got broke in. Yeah. Any more other stickers? Probably going to have to go down here where you can't see. So, Oh, well. Snooze you lose. Yep, so what you got? Well, starting out with a heavy hitter. And all the ones we're going to have are... At all least four dollars and up. Yeah, they're this. all they're all pints. So this one, uh, Nightmare Brewing, uh, Scafism, Scafism, Scoofism, Scafism, I guess. Sure, it's an imperial stout with milk, sugar, honey. What's that? Tahitian vanilla. There you go, Tahitian vanilla and cacao. No, we don't we don't need this. Yeah, we don't need that at all tonight. No. Not one bottle. All 16-ounce yep. cans. 17% alcohol by volume. I think we got like seven or eight cans of beer tonight. If we're not trashed by then, maybe Jesse has some, uh, I don't know, some liquor we could review. Do you have anything? <laughs> Probably sitting in the fridge or above the fridge for the last three years or something. <laughs> well, this bottle of water tastes like water. The wateriest water I've ever watered. That's a dark motherfucker. God damn. And the guy at the liquor store said that even though it's 17%, they mask the alcohol very well. I won't, I won't taste the hand spooge. I'll let you get a whiff. Might as well put it up here. God damn, it smells like... Whoa. I'm getting peanut butter out of that. I really am. You getting kind of a nutty note, kind of a hazelnut peanut butter. I was about to say not peanut, but uh, hazelnut. Yeah. yeah, I'm getting hazel. That really does smell good. Man, I hope it tastes as much hazelnut as it smells. Hazelnut, a little bit of that vanilla, a little sweet. Honey, I'm not quite sure. Man, I'm getting like a nuts. Yeah. <laughs> I would have never guessed seventeen percent. Mm -mm. Like seven, <coughs> seven or eight. I'm not getting any sort of burn at all. Mm. <coughs> uh, only little bit of burn I'm getting is I swallowed wrong at first. <coughs> Choke myself out on these nuts. Bazinga. <laughs> and this really isn't that that cold. No, -uh. it's maybe fifty. Yeah, feels like about the same temp outside. Sorry about y'all up north. But <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing a jacket, but it's about forty-five, yeah. fifty degrees here. Uh, I wasn't expecting we were going to light this, so I'll probably ditch the jacket a little bit. I figured Steven's ass would be getting chilly after a little while. Might as well at least get it started. That yeah. way we're not in the middle of a video me sitting here. Click, 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 click. <laughs> since I got a, wired up to that 100-pound tank over there, such a long hose to prime it, it takes a while to get the gas flowing. Are you getting any sort of nutty notes? I, I'm getting a little bit. Not like I smell. No, it's. If I was to say like a any sort of nutty note, it might be like a a walnut skin, kind of a little dry, kind of bitter, kind of like flaky, pilly. Yeah, it's, it's what it tastes like yeah. to me. I'm not getting honey. Maybe that's supposed to help with some sort of backbone sweetness. Um, they didn't put too much milk sugars in it. It's not excessively sweet. It's not like a milk stout. It's not. It's a little dry. The bitterness is like pff, none for me. But it's just insane how mild it tastes, but yet it's 17% alcohol. Yeah. This right here would kick my ass. 
Because I'd just sit there and sip on it like crazy. Yeah. That 16-ounce can wouldn't last all that crazy long because it's smooth, mild. I'm not feeling it heavy when I drink it. I mean, mm. it's something that, you know, it's thick and got flavor, but you kill a 16-ounce can a lot quicker than you should at 17% alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what the price of was it, the price of this was. I think it might have been four fifty. Four ninety nine, I think. Four ninety nine. Okay. I think they were all three ninety nine or four ninety nine. So basically if you're looking at if this does come in four packs, seventeen bucks. Yeah. And I could I could easily drink the four of them if it wasn't. Remember he told us he, they were going through them like crazy. Yeah. They were flying off the shelf. The singles were just flying off the shelf, people buying them up. And I can see why. Yeah. I mean if you want something that's got a good drink to it and it'll give you a good buzz of rolling and a couple of them do the trick. Yeah. Bet you two of them back to back, you'd be feeling pretty good. Mm hmm. Hell, as much as I drink anymore, one freaking can of that, me feeling all right. <laughs> These beer reviews the only time I even touch alcohol anymore. You still got uh, uh, a four pack of vape tricks in there from what, a month ago? Yeah, a month or so ago. And he bought a 12 pack of F5. Man, I, I, I haven't had F5 in a maybe. long time. Me and you and your dad reviewed F5. And it was just like straight Strong. bitter. But the thing is, I decided, I decided to get some more. And it was right about fall of this winter. I started, I was on first shift now, so I started grilling more. She'd get some burgers and hot dogs. And that's what I do for dinner. Well, I got tired of vape tricks all the time, so I was like, oh, I'll get some F5. That's total fucking opposite. Got it. Poured it in my glass, came out here grilling. Man, sitting out here grilling, I just freaking boom, boom, boom. I mean, it was strong. I mean, punch you in the face, but I just kept going and kept going. and I was liking it for a little while. My head's getting hot. My body's sick. We might just have to do that. Yeah, that's what I Get all done with this. Feel throw, like one, throw one in the freezer. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't put it on the fridge, did I? I just threw the case on the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can throw some in the freezer after this beer review. I, I really like this. This is an easy... Easy drink. Like I said, I'm surprised from looking at the can, not really ever hearing of it. 17% like alcohol. I, I thought it was going to kick my ass. I, I thought it wasn't going to taste that great. I thought we were going to taste the alcohol. I'm getting a slight tongue numbing kind yeah. of feeling. But no burn on the way down. Mm, none. Yeah. No stinging as you try to swallow it. No unpleasantness at all. In some stouts, it's it's weird. I, I mentioned this to some people and they look at me funny. You know, you drink, you get a residue on your lips, and you kind of wipe. Sometimes it smells like fish. And this doesn't have that effect for me. I don't know what the hell it is. I mean. That and another thing you got to deal yeah, with. Yeah, it didn't stink. If you took this straight out the fridge and drink it, it's going to taste different. Yeah. But, you know, most of your stouts, you don't want it refrigerated cold. You want it at least, you know, what, 45 to 50? Yeah. Maybe 55 something. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like them quite as warm as you do. I got to have a little chill too. Sometimes they'll say a, pre a preferred. But you don't want it 35 degrees right out of the no. fridge. Not a stout. You don't get all your robust flavors out of it. The deep notes. Deep. So deep. Oh. <laughs> if, if I didn't know what the percentage of this was, I would have guessed eight. Seven to eight. Yeah. It doesn't seem like an imperial stout. That last drink warmed up a little more, and I, I taste a uh, little sizzle on the way down as I killed it. But no more than I would have thought I ate. Yeah. 17? Oh, shit. I'd be in big trouble. You're not getting, like, ball-kicking flavor? No. Nah. But it's the flavors are good. And like I said, it's, it's like the like walnut skin... That little dryness and, and slight bitterness. It does make your tongue numb. I mean, it's good if you want to suck dick, I guess. But um, the, the chocolate and it kind of has a slight chocolate, slight coffee, but they're kind of equal, but they're very mellow. For saying it has cacao in it, it doesn't seem that strong. Um, I'm getting actually getting a little bit of vanilla. Uh, kind of chicory-esque in a way. Not like a chicory coffee, but you get kind of that slight kind of bitterness at the very end, slight dryness. Then you're left with slight dryness and slight bitterness. Is about it. 
It's not overly sweet from the milk sugars. It doesn't have that weird off-putting kind of a flavor like they put too much in it. So, uh, I'll go ahead and spin. Well, that was pretty good stout. Uh, definitely hit the alcohol. Great. Never would have guessed. I'd only guessed half of what the actually was in there. There we go. I'll go ahead and do that. Go ahead, Steven. I'll say nine and a half. I give it an eight. Okay. Re main reason I got the extra point was alcohol, but I've the flavors are kind of mute. They're kind of low for what yeah. they... For I mean, if, if you look at this beer when I poured it, it was thick <laughs> as hell. It, I mean, it's oh, and the smell was like beautiful hazel mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right, there we go. We'll be seeing you. You know what we forgot to do? This beer is brought to you by... This beer is brought to you by... Oh. Dick's Chicken Wings. We want to be elbow deep in your throat hole with our hot sauce. <laughs> Eat our chicken meat. One nine hundred. Meet your throat. <laughs>